Welcome back to some more MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. This series has been going for years and years and years between Supercross and Supercross Encore. This is not the last Encore video. I don't know if we'll ever completely end it. We might come back to it years later, but with MX versus ATV all out, right around the corner, a few months away, uh, we're kind of getting close to somewhat of an end to this series. Now, I'll probably make a video to kind of tie it all up here and put a nice little bow on it, but for today, I just want to show some fun big lines. Now, disclaimer, for all the people that want to say how bad I suck and how much they could beat me, congratulations, you're better than me, okay? I'm not... I don't know where I stated that I'm the greatest MX versus ATV player because I never have. I've always said I'm very average. So these lines, they may be the biggest line that you can hit there. They may be not the biggest line, but they're fun lines. They're big, fun lines. Whether they're the biggest or not, they're still fun. And the game's arcade, so it's just it's the way the game plays. So hopefully you enjoy this. I know a lot of people join the channel through Supercross Encore, so thank you for joining. If you're still here, I hope you enjoy this. And we're going to get right into the first line. All right, so to start things off, we're going to be at the 2017 Replica Tracks. This is San Diego, and a lot of these San Diego lines, I'm sure you've already seen this quad. A quad fiber right here we're going to throw down. And then we're going to come into the next corner. That section's really hard. It's one of the hardest lines for me to hit, but I wanted to throw it in since we were here anyways. This section right here. And then after this, we're going to throw a huge quad down right here. Right here. This is a triple single most of the time. But if you throw a double preload in it, you can quad that baby. It's not easy, and I don't get it cleanly. There's a lot of those really big quads like that where you have to double preload. And I think most everybody has to. Maybe there's a few people that are getting that without double preloading some of the super fast guys. But for me, just being super average, I have to throw a double preload in. It's not that easy. Same with this section. I don't. I know you don't have to double preload this, but it's easier. You also don't have to double preload this triple, but I, was, I overjumped a little bit, and I wanted to be able to do that right there over the finish line unrealistic fantasy not realistic it's fun it's a game guys this is that was 2017 phoenix this is 2017 oakland that huge quad's a lot of fun to get i threw a double preload in on it i don't know if you have to this is 2017 detroit this line's awesome kind of jumping over the face take off of that triple and then doubling it's so much faster and it's that one's not that hard to get it's it's not that bad if you practice it a little bit and a lot of these lines I'm sure you could hit with the automatic transmission stuff like that but I know for a fact it is easier to hit these really big lines running the manual so if you're trying to learn that start practicing with the manual it makes it easier this is 2017 East Rutherford another one of those big quads and then you can actually quad quad double this section I think I didn't get it because I didn't get the quad cleanly plus I'm not good enough to get that consistently but I'm pretty sure you could quad quad double this is Chicago. So we're getting into the DLC tracks. And I'm just kind of choosing some of my favorite ones here. That line is big. It's not super hard to get. Um, not like you have to have a manual or anything or double preload. There is this five. I think that's five double. That one's not bad if you stay to the right side. Now this next line here, This I've never gotten this before. I was so pumped, so psyched to get this. Let's see. That's three, four, five, six. How many is this? Three, four, five, six. So it's a six, six. 6-6. Six, six. Listen to that. 6-6. Six, six. It's not, I know, it's not realistic, but I was pumped. I had to throw a fat whip right here. I was so pumped to, to hit that line at Chicago. That was my absolute favorite line of the video. Here we're at St. Louis. I think this is St. Louis. Another one of those kind of jump over the finish line because that finish line kicks you up into the air quite a ways, so that saves some time. This is Albany. Now, all these lines at Albany, there's nothing really that special about it. You know, if you've been around the game, I'm sure you've you've seen these lines or figured these lines out. And if you're new with the MX vs. ATV All-In Edition, well, here you go. You can learn a few things, and uh, I'd say practice with the, the automatic transmission. If you get comfortable with that, then move over to the manual, because the manual does make you faster. I kind of wanted to argue about that with people, but everybody was right. I was wrong. The manual is much better to go if you were trying to get good at this game. Definitely the way to go. It made me get a lot faster now I mean I'm not fast and, and people don't want to say that oh I think I'm so good no actually I don't I constantly am saying how average I am this is St. Louis or no 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 Salt Lake I believe this is the DLC Salt Lake this line is sick it was super hard to get I always have trouble with the second line there or the whatever that is I wasn't counting but nonetheless that's that's a really fun line as well there's a couple other big ones here but that's the main one I kind of wanted to 
wanted to show off. This is Orlando. This line was difficult, and I just learned this line not that long ago, actually. You kind of have to stick to the right side, and you can triple this. And no double preload. Um, I know these guys, they can get that really easily, but I kind of struggled. I, I think it was worth showing, though, because it wasn't that bad. And then there's a, another sixer here. You have to get a really good run and give it a full preload. You can barely pop over that and get all six. Really, really fast line. Let's see what else we got here. This is, I think this is Jacksonville. Now this line was kind of tough to get as well. It took me, I bet I was on this track for 20 minutes at least trying to get this. I don't know why it was such a struggle. Not so much here, but jumping out. I just could not cleanly get out of it. That's the best that I was able to do for you. And I know there's guys that can do better, maybe even make these lines even bigger than me, but they're just supposed to be fun. And this line right here, you've seen this with the faster line series I ran before when I was still using the automatic transmission, so nothing too special here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just kind of wanted to show it. But the next line that you're going to see is something that, again, I just learned from one of my friends on PlayStation. They were telling me about it. You can actually jump to the, the table instead of in front of it, and you'll see it here right now. But that's about going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for the support on this series so far. We'll do a few more videos before All Out comes out. Not sure how many, but I'll have a nice little video to wrap everything up eventually but uh you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on this series for as long as you have it really does mean a lot i can't thank you enough and until the next video take it easy